Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can build your own texture importer for the Solaris and Material X context. This is a very simple implementation and it's more like an exercise to introduce Python in Odini if you're used to it in other packages. I'll be uploading the code to Patreon if you guys want to check it out. So here I have my texture folder with a very basic naming convention that has the object name, channel name and color space and that's the information that we're gonna use to guide our tool. So in Solaris let's create a material library, this is the starting point and the reference for the script. The first thing we need to do is to import the Houdini and OS modules. Next we set a list of channels that in this case is Substance Painter friendly. Again, very basic, ideally you would have the dictionaries with lists of different names for albi, the roughness and so on. Now we prompt the user for the base name of the object that's baked in the file name, like wood clock or plastic wheels. You can add some buttons like OK and Cancel to complete the operation. If we print it, you can see that the output is a list of the index of the button pressed and the given input string. So if the user didn't cancel the operation and the input was not empty, we will execute some code. First let's create a variable for the current project path. After that we have another user interaction so the folder of the textures can be selected. Now we start to interact with the current context storing the current node selected, the material library, in a variable, so that later we can add nodes inside. Creating a material X with the create node command, you can also rename it here. I know that sometimes the UVs are required, so I'm also creating a texture coordinates node and setting it to vector2, U and V. And here we're going to iterate over the textures folder, so we can filter the right textures to import. We also want to iterate over each channel. And if the texture file has a matching base name and a channel name, we will continue with the logic. If we print the result, you can see it picked only the three textures that exist for this specific asset. Now we can create a USD texture node, or you can use a Material X image. Then we save in a variable the index of the channel being processed, so we can use it later. Add the name of the texture to the folder path the user picked. And finally set the file name with the path we just saved. For organization we can just lay out the nodes inside the material library. And as you can see it's working as expected with the file name of the node being set correctly. I mentioned at the beginning that I also have the color space in the file name, so we can use it to set the color space here. The way you can check the correct token is in the menu tab of the parameter interface. So now we start to do some connections, first the UVs to the texture nodes. Next we check if the channel is the base color and connect it to the base color which is the input one, we also need to set the output for, for the RGB output. Then we do the same for the roughness and normal, or I channel, creating the necessary nodes and connecting the correct to the correct inputs. The only issue here is that we need to find the correct index of the nodes. For example, the normal input of the material X is 40, we just need to count it, I guess. So that's it, then you can create a shelf item with the code and execute it anytime you need it. Or even create a custom radial menu for the Python scripts. I hope that you have learned something and check out my Patreon and Gumroad if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you and see you in the next one.